in life, you know, you can have a great set of facts, a great background, but if you can't sell that and you can't sell yourself, um, then you know, it's it's just not it really doesn't help you at all. Then you're just waiting for the fates to get that right job for you. And I think so much of life is about presenting yourself not in not in a way that you're not, but you've got to be able to uh, say in like five minutes, like an elevator pitch. What is it that I stand for? What I what can I do for you? Um, and do you want to like just talk a little bit about sort of marketing and careers? Because I, I mean that yeah. really could be another show. Yeah. But you yeah. know, just briefly, I, I just think yeah. that's so fascinating. Yeah, I mean, I've created an entire podcast around it. So yeah, yeah, yeah it could definitely be an, an episode and in, in maybe thirty. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's very important. I think it's. I mean, you hear personal brand all the time, but I think it goes beyond a personal brand because there's more to marketing than branding. Right. Um, and that's what I try to get through in my podcast, The Winding Road, um, is is that the, the hardest thing we can do. And Donald C. Baker has a quote that I use a lot now, ever since I, I came across it a year or so ago, that it's hard to read the label from inside the jar. And it's so hard for us to see our accomplishments, to understand the big picture, to step back and see ourselves the way that other people might see us in a positive light, right? And and reflect on what we're capable of. And we've got that voice in our head all the time, uh, you know, really trying to drag us down. And um, and I think, though, if you can stand back, try to, in some way, be more objective yeah. about and, and kind of look at yourself as if you're, you're kind of remove the personal piece of it. And just analyze yourself from a, a kind of a product marketing standpoint of what are what's what are the features and what are the benefits and what's the value that you bring just like you would a product or service try to think about yourself in that way um and and who are you for and who are you not for um another core principle of marketing um and then what are you for what do you do what do you want to do you know um if you've had a diverse background like i have I mean, I feel like I, I still don't know what I want to do when I when I grow up, and, and you know how old I am now. So, but I don't think that'll ever change, man. I, I, I think um, I think that's just part of like in loving to learn. Um, you just like just seeing that sales enablement is a thing, and you can get paid just to do that thing, and just realizing that I was like, wow, okay, like you just get, things are going to open up that you didn't even know existed, right? And you have to be open to it. But so. from, a pra- from a practical level, I mean, say, um, you know, people are you know, uh, either trying to develop in their careers or, or get a new job. How do you think marketing, because I, I think it, it can apply in a myriad of ways mm-hmm. about trying to create, I'm not seeing an image, but then really letting people understand who you are. So mm-hmm. practically, Travis, how do you think people can do that? You know? Yeah, I mean, I think it's like, if, if you think about positioning with marketing it's understanding the environment and where you slot in and what's your what's your value right um some people some some services are, are going to compete on price yeah. and some are going to compete on value or some some facet what's your facet what are you competing on that if you get head to head with somebody in an interview and and big companies like microsoft you know they'll they'll basically pull out their final three and that's their interview that's who they interview with so now you're directly competing with those people head to head. What What's your positioning? How, how are you not, not really different, kind of different, but um, how do you stack up? What do you offer? 